thought you wanted to just go straight in with it, yeah? We're ready to go. And we're ready. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Right, folks, welcome to another edition of Bluffers to Buffers. What we got this week, Ben? Sorry, I was just adjusting the screen. <laughs> uh, this, this week, Bob, is the second part of what I'm going to aim to be a weekly instalment thing of our scrapyard. Bill. Excellent. I would do a drum roll, but I know there's probably cool music going on. There is. Cool music. Right, Ben and Bob, that's us. Yes. Splendid. I quite... I, I did it. It seemed like I spent a long time doing stuff this weekend for, for this episode, but achieved very little. Right. So, um, and it didn't help that I went straight in with a massive flamingo up. Which is like a... <laughs> a flamingo is, up. Yeah, it's like a cock up, only much, much bigger. Like a pink. hyper uppercut. Yeah, it's terrible. Right. Yeah, which, it's actually the first thing we'll see, so... Um, okay. It was, I was trying to get ahead of the curve... Whoa, it topical. Well, it is topical. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see how far you got because I've, I've, I know you've been collecting some bits from work of all places. So I got home on Friday night after work and I got keen. And see that there, Bob? That is wood filler. Right. right I've used filler before, mint. I whacked it on. I think my daughter was doing some sort of dancing on the old computer. So I thought I'll make hay while the sun shines. Barbecue is uh, warming up. Whoa. Whacked it on. Lovely. This is going to be like the hard standing area or generally just an area that's got... You've gone heavy with it. Yeah. Just, you know, a build-up of floor. Yes. You know what I mean? Rails are sunk Yeah, yeah. so you've got grease, mud, bits of things, yeah. you know... So that was the vibe debris. I was going for with this. Spreading it on. I thought to myself at the time, this is a bit stodgy and not a lot to <laughs> Yeah. So that instinct. I left it to it. I've got it how I wanted it, left it, and um, went about my evening. I'd even got changed there. I went about my evening, had some beer, went to bed. In the middle of the night, it struck me. I'm going to check that filler in the morning just to be sure. Mm. It should be hard. You know, what I'll do is I'll sand it down just to give a smooth area. I should have known when I was doing this at this point, getting water on it. You wetting it can up? You, can, you guess, it can you guess what's happened? This is wood filler. Yeah. Take a stab at what might have happened. Obviously, there that I'm running a carriage up yeah, and down. Yeah, to get it, your tracks back. So the tracks yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Has it gone off? I don't know. I'm, See not, the, I'm, not, I'm the, not really au okay fait with wood filler, if I'm being honest. It's just like a normal filler. What had happened was I hadn't mixed the second part, the hardener, into the first. <laughs> so I came to it in the morning expecting it to be uh, rock hard, and instead it wasn't. And then my son got involved. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so what I had to do was remove oh, it. no. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it was, was a good waste of a good couple of hours. Just as well this there. hasn't got actual audio with it, because I imagine there's some expletives. No, it well, was. You saw my, my Well, obviously, there. in your head. Uh, yeah. I was not happy because it was a, what, such a waste of time. It was not a good idea in principle. Do they not come ready with hardener in them? No, well, this particular, some do, and the filler I use later on does. Right. Oh, uh, so what I ended up track. doing was just oh, fetching no. the track off, get out. Had enough. Get out. And uh, so, viewers, here's a little tip. <laughs> <laughs> don't commit to using something you're not familiar with <laughs> always read the label <laughs> read the label um, oh, funny. for ruining your hard still at least work. you had a go mate at least I had a go at least yeah. you had a go and you're only using Halfords Pro Tools so that's yeah. okay so um, trying to sand that back it's yeah, all still, still very sticky and horrible and think, clogging up the sand yeah paper. Oh. as you can see I'm scrubbing it forwards into that blue trough thing yeah there. Which is actually yours. Is it? Yeah. And here's my assistant. I know where that came from. Yeah. Now. Committing some you what? sort of fashion faux pas yeah. of Crocs with socks. Nice. Don't I can't take responsibility for that. <laughs> <laughs> Good technique though, though. Yeah, mate, been cracking he's, yeah, in, yeah. For a four year old, he knows exactly what he's up to. I bet he's going, Daddy, why'd you do that, mate? <laughs> yeah, you, why on earth did you do this? He was like, why'd you use that for? You should use the other one. <laughs> I said, well, I haven't really got much of that one left. He said, well, I'll teach you, wouldn't it? <laughs> he said, should we go and queue up for three hours and go to B&Q? Yeah. <laughs> 
So I think we nearly got it removed. Fortunately enough, as <laughs> he's still going. A oh, little chop there. Yeah. Nice move. Always there. chop your filler <laughs> when you're sanding it back. <laughs> um, so we're going to have a video basically you sanding this back now. No, well, no. I like I, that you're let, allowing us to see your mistakes. We've got to. This is, we're all learning together. So here we go. I'll put two new bits of track in. Brilliant. So we're back. After a few hours' work, I'm back to basically where I started before. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to start getting some sort of some sort of something going on with this. Yeah. So balanced. we've got the entrance line and the head shunt there. You know, this is where you're coming off the main line. Or maybe the trucks would wait there, you know, or the wagons would wait there, should I say. So this is all going to be to ballast and... Um, do you know how it dries well quick in, when it's hot outside in the sun? Yeah. Normally you have to wait a couple... good, though? Yeah. Normally you have to wait a couple of days for the old water PVA mix to dry. But it, but it, was, it was in the An sun. hour it was dried. Oh, cool. So that was happy days. I made up a bit of time there. The ballast is the... Um, it's from Proses, Proses, I never know how to pronounce it. It's the stuff I used originally on the layout. I'm not overly keen on it, so I thought let's get some used up um, for this bit. Obviously, we're going to weather it down and what have you once it's done. But, yeah. Um, using the old technique as demonstrated in a previous video, Bob. You'll yeah, be familiar yeah, with that. I am, yeah. Brush and card. Brush and card. <laughs> 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 a bit um, of glue going yeah, on glue which already had in stock and you know, what am I squirting it with there see if you can remember isopropyl yeah, alcohol yeah correct whacking it on getting it good and wet with the old PVA or Woodland Scenics Scenic Cement you want to look after place. that isopropyl because I imagine that is like rocking horse nowadays it is and it evaporates very quickly in the sun <laughs> <laughs> I'll see be being alcohol yeah um, All alcohol evaporates quickly in the sun, yeah, well, doesn't it? Quite. Especially in cans. Yeah. <laughs> Still on the guest beer at the minute. Are you? Yeah. So, back back to the point here. Loading it up with the old mixture. Plenty on there. I've learned over time you can't get, you know, you should get loads, loads of this. Gob it on, basically. Yeah, you really want to flood it, let it soak in and get some more on it. Um, this gives you better, last. it lasts longer and doesn't, lift as easily it's good good advice yeah. that also what I found while it's wet if you're yeah. modelling sort of a an area that's going to be unused as it were or where you want a growth of weeds while it's wet sprinkle some of the scatter on there right okay and it sits in the glue and obviously um, just looks like little tiny yeah, little weeds tiny and what I'm whacking in there is that I've used it on that uh, sidings before. I guess it's like a tile grout, a grey grout, just to give the ground cover a bit, you know, it will, once I put some black on it, it will be like it's uh, old oil and whatever's yeah, dropped yeah, yeah. down. And, you know, really congealed, if that's the word we're looking for. What are you doing there? So what what on there is masking up the point blades and just spraying a whole lot uh, of the other track in... Um, Sleeper grime that that aerosol can is that's just one a brown or you can also use any old brown it's just right. wired in stock and obviously while it's still a, a little bit wet just sand it back off the tops of the rails so you're not still battling. usable yeah you don't want to be battling that once it's gone hard because this particular paint is an enamel paint um, that's a technique. I try to employ on the track, paint it brown before doing anything, but I often get carried away and forget. <laughs> and just vacuuming it off. Uh, look. Nice. Yeah. Good vacuuming technique. Thanks, mate. Is that the, the standard Henri Hoover, is it? Yeah, Henri. Needs a new bag, but... Ooh. So, here we go again. It's funny, this... I saw some of this earlier yeah. in the video. <laughs> this is my filler that I normally use. I forget the name of it now, but it's quite... It's like a foam when it goes on. It's really thin and light and airy. Yeah. I just, it works really it work, you can really work it quite easily but I didn't have much left so I only really got to do this bit and then probably not long after this I decided you know what I'm going to concentrate on the other end anyway <laughs> 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 there's so many things like going through the old head and uh, yeah, it's like right let's do, let's do let's a bit do a bit, bit over here do a bit yeah, over here no, let's do a bit at a time so 
But again, I'm just sink, trying to get the effect that the, the the rails have just sunk down, or, or the ground has, you know, the muck and grime has built up to rail level over time. It almost have that kind of weird yeah. sheen to it, doesn't it? When it's like that. Yeah. And ultimately, this is just the, the the first part of the the puzzle. It always looks a bit sketchy to begin with, as you'll see in a bit when I do the other end. But the as you go along, it comes it comes together. It's just about having the faith in it. Yes, or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Knowledge, experience. No, none of that. No, just as well. Just no. <laughs> pretty much just a case of I don't want to swear, but don't swear. I, I, it's, I a know, family, but, uh, it's a family. It's a family. It's a family show. show. But I'm just trying to think of another way of putting it. What word are you trying to say? I'm not going to say it. Oh, okay. It's a rude word, but well done. That thanks. Was a test. Thanks, mate. <laughs> just, just a case of just go for it and see what happens. Basically, what you got there? A bit of grey. This is black. Just black. standard black paint that was knocking around in the shed. Just matte black again because this sort of thing. Actually, the main colour you have got is black rather than brown. I think. The, yeah, definitely. Again, I was looking in our yard out there, which is where we you know, have a lot of cars here, um, and the main colour is black. Shades Apart from the black. workshop, which Apart is now some shiny. Yes, but that's a different thing. <laughs> so, what I've done here, Bob, that filler that I used the first time round, I found the hardener. Right. So I've had another go with it. Here, okay. this is the car end. So this is where your cars, lorries and that will be coming in and out. So is this a roadway you're doing? Or? What I'm doing here is... Rather than doing oh, all of it, this is where you're going to see that. the traffic coming in. So I just wanted to get some furrows in the ground because it's yeah. not going to be dead flat. It's going to be all sorts of weights of vehicles coming in and out of there. So that's and that is a good it. tip. If you're going to do it, use the actual yeah. things that you're going to be driving in exactly. and out. Exactly. Use an old one because it does get clogged up in the wheels and the yeah, tyres. Yeah, yeah. What's this? So what I'm doing now, this is using air dry clay right. again because this is going to be this. Is like a, the head chunt into and out of the the, the breakers yard for the, the the trains as it were the the locomotives. Yeah. So I wanted the, the the ground built up to rail height. So I'm trying a different technique here, which I've used before, which is just air dry clay. Get it in there. Why would you not have used the the filler? Well, my confidence was knocked with regards to the filler. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't okay. sure how it would perform with the rails. So I know the air dry clay thing works. So fair enough. Stick with what you know. Yeah. And it's just literally just a case of get it on, work it. Um, well, your hair looked quite blonde there. It must have been the sun reflecting yeah. from it. Yeah, flattering angle. Get water helps massively with this. Um, helps makes it a lot more workable. Because otherwise, as well, if you don't water it and feather the edges, it lifts very easily. Right. So you need to kind of feather it down. That help it stick as well. Yeah, it, it does. Hundred percent. I've used PVA in the past underneath it as well, just to help it stick down. In fact, when I did the walls on the canal, yeah, did them out of clay and sort of scraped the stone shape into them, but stuck them down with PVA. Stuck, you know, put a, sh a coating of PVA down before the clay, and it just helped. Stop it Keep peeling it off at the toilet. The toilet? Okay. What? Where is your brain going? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's going back to that filler again, isn't it? Because that was toilet. That <laughs> <laughs> was random. I know. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. <laughs> at the minute, it does seem... Uh, I, I, I'm kind of looking at it at this stage, thinking, well, I'm not sure if I've ruined this or not, because it does really look a bit rubbish. Yeah, but you've got to remember that it's a scrapyard. Yeah, and, and it's, it is just chaos in these scrapyards. And it's lay it's layers, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's yeah. kind of obviously I painted all the rails here, and you you know it's a good idea to paint all the rails before doing your ballasting and before doing the rest of it. But then actually, I think in life, if these things are getting dirty or these things are building up, they start from somewhere. So they start from clean, they start from new and gradually get dirty and get dirty together. Yeah. You don't have a dirty rail and then clean ballast going down and then a bit of dirty 
dirt land in right, them. Yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So I, I kind of think it's not necessarily a bad thing. Anyway, I digress. Ground cover, Bob. Where have you nicked the colander from? Don't tell the wife it was out of the kitchen. <laughs> but this, this, Gritty bastard. Yeah. <laughs> These, this is just a shovel full of muck from our yard here at work. Yeah, yeah. Just lots of stones. Did you find any dust. gold? No gold, no. Oh, shame. And it actually came out of the colander a lot thinner than I was hoping, but I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. Yeah. It's a very fine dust. Um, you, The dust here gets everywhere, doesn't it? Exactly. So you imagine that's basically what I'm sprinkling on. It's on almost like pollen cover, isn't it? When you get yeah. a car covered in pollen, it's that type of fineness. But... Right. I'm glad I took the gamble because, as you'll see in a minute, it kind of, I think, works well. So, as I said earlier, PVA again. This is Mod Podge, Mod matte, Podge. matte finish. Very, very important, rather right. than because PVA tends to dry with a gloss. Okay. And literally just sprinkle it on the on. Oh, mate, that's just right, isn't it? Well, yeah, but also, you've got different thicknesses of glue from the brush in. Now I use my technique and setting. Spray the isopropyl on. Yeah. Because it leaches the glue into the... Leaches. That's the best word I can think of. It kind of sucks the glue into the product. Yeah. Or into the dust or whatever you're using. Just helps hold it there better, I find. Um, You could also use, I guess, a water, very fine water spray. Because the alcohol evaporates very quickly. It just leaves it with the the glue-soaked thing. You've moved back indoors, haven't you? I mean... The second shed now, <laughs> second shed. <laughs> which has slowly become commandeered by <laughs> railway stuff. Again, just sprinkling that dust on. I was, I was kind of random with where I put it on the on the bit with the furrows for the with the lorry tire yeah. tracks because I don't know, it just was. Um, again, this is just the car end. I will worry about the railway yeah, yeah, end yeah. another day. Just, so this is the uh, just the other side of that. Because this is the key. The getting this foundation, this base yeah. road and everything is the key to the scrapyard, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, this is just the other side of that rail that I put the, the, the um, air dry clay on. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Turn oh, around man, and, and sort of... That's it dry now. That's just the different colours that it's dried with thinner layers, obviously, where I didn't paint in the middle there. And just trying out how we're going to go with the background. Found the way bridge there. Boom. Not sure. What do you think with the units there? I like, like the units because it's with that right way bridge be right there. And I will just. <sighs> well, you got to look at. I think a way bridge probably would be butted up near a building. Therefore, you don't have any scum yeah. going behind it. So yes, I, I would say that works personally. Okay. So you see that? Remember them fences? That's one of the first things you did for me way way back when. Those those plastic sort of um, fence you painted them Real. silver for me. Crikey, that was a long, yeah, long time yeah. ago. Well, I just I, we'll do, we'll move on to officially to fences another day. But um, <gasps> you need to give me the bins. That's I will. Something you definitely this is just I'm just trying it all out now, laying it out, see how it lays out. <laughs> I bet you were like a little bit excited at this point. <laughs> I am, yeah, I mean, it's it, it, realistically you'd want it bigger, wouldn't you? But I had that bit of wood, and we're working with what we've got, so. That's kind of my vision for it, loosely. Your thoughts, any any feedback? No, I love the fencing. The fencing's perfect. That type yeah. of fencing's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's wicked. Oh, yeah, look at that. So that's kind of where we're at after week two. So um, there's Bob there with his dog, dog of Bob. God, dog, Bob, dog. So um, you, you happy with progress so oh, far? Oh, massively, you're yeah. Gonna, you're going to... Literally, I've had so many letters... <laughs> <laughs> people want you to uh, well I've make, got do I a have thing. a we, we discussed this earlier in the week we may do we've got, even got a name for it a Bev do you remember the Bev oh yeah 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 I do yeah which is you a, wait for the Bev wait for the Bev views I'm not going to tell you what no. Bev stands for just is, yet are we going to have that is that going to be our next video or is that too soon look at no, this no, no. little bit of I couldn't leave it that's better I think actually until what, the warehouse when that fell down the back um I'm waiting for. I've lent somebody my air bun, oh, my yeah. air gun, my airbrush. Oh, yeah. um, that, but, that's better that way, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, okay. But apparently that's going to be back this week. Right. Okay. But just to update the views, I've dug out 208s, a Western, and a couple of carriages. Yeah. And the Dakota has been moved, it's flown away. That's good. 
So we, we are getting there. But yes, Bev will be uh, with us next week. Cool. Well, Bev, I think we can round up now. Excellent. Well, thanks for watching. You can catch us at RKE Junction or Red Knob End Junction or Bluffers to Buffers on Instagram, Facebook and the YouTube. Uh, I've been Bob. And I've been Ben. This has been part two of our Scrapyard build. Like I say, we're going to try and do it weekly so you can see real time how we get on with it. Hopefully by the end of this we'll have something that's uh, quarter decent. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.